Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Mike here. Hope you're having a great day or night. Today's video, guys, I'll show you what I sold. Along with that, I'll be doing a lot of work in the house, doing a lot of drafts and listings, staying busy, trying to make that moolah. So let's see what we do today. All right, gotta have a talk with you guys. Uh, I do share some of my eBay accounts on the YouTube channel here. Uh, like I've mentioned before, these are not my accounts. So please, please do not message through those eBay accounts. Nobody's ever gonna reply to you. Uh, just been getting some complaints from some of the owners of the eBay accounts saying, hey, a lot of people are asking questions. Guys, I have a whole website set up, pickforprofit.com. You have YouTube here. You've got Facebook. You can find me, Morning Cup of Joseph. If you do have a question, please go to that extent to go over there. Or you can email me at globalvoodoo at gmail. Please respect uh, the business, right? Uh, I really appreciate it if you could because, uh, um, you know, there's matrix, again, with messages and stuff like that on eBay, even though it clearly states, you know, trust me, your accounts can get penalized for not responding back to people, stuff like that. I've heard nightmares from other people, so please respect that. To follow up on that some more, a lot of your questions that I see that you guys are messaging me and on Facebook and on YouTube can be answered, honestly. If you, if you do some time, do some research, and look through the channel here, you can find a lot of the answers to the questions you're asking me. If you're looking for information in terms of consulting or what I offer with my Pick for Profit program over there, you can go check all that out, you know. Um, but, you know, asking questions like what kind of poly bag, I mean, it's I've answered it so many times. And all it takes is just go to pickforprofit.com and go take a look. So, uh, again, I'm not trying to stir people from not messaging me. I do try to answer the messages as, as best I can, but time only allows me to answer so many. And um, doing this for so many years, I mean, my inboxes are filled, you know. So uh, I can, I'm here to help out as many times as I can. If you ask a question, once I make a quick upload in the video, typically within the first 30 minutes of me uploading a video, I do answer questions. Other than that, I can never get to the messages. So uh, please understand that. I'm not trying to come off like an ego or like I'm some millionaire that's got freaking 50 million things to do. But I am out there busy just like the rest of you guys out there, reselling, flipping, trying to make a buck here. I've spent a lot of time here on YouTube answering questions and had Facebook groups to answer the questions for. And spent a lot of time doing that and I've given back so much. So if there is something that you want to bounce off me and you're looking for advice on your business or direction, I do offer consultations. You can check out my website and learn more about that for those that are interested. But, uh, you know, um, I just I can't be in a million different places at once and I can't be answering every single message because I wouldn't ha I wouldn't get anything done <laughs> paid $2.99 for this recently sold in 24 hours we have a VTech DS6621-2 telephone handset connect to sell answering system new in box this sold for $31.95 with free shipping paid two bucks for this a couple weeks ago I think actually I think it was last week at the thrift shop it's a Territory Ahead Southwest Brown Orange Teal Cotton Casual Shirt, size extra large, and sold within five days on eBay for $25 with free shipping. Paid $1 for this at the thrift shop. Sold on Etsy. It's a 1980s LA Beer Anheuser-Busch Vintage Mesher Truck Snapback Hat. This sold for $21 plus $4 shipping for a total of $25 shipped. So the forecast here in Arizona over the next week is going to be hot. High as it would look like 119 degrees. So tomorrow, I'm going to try to find some garage sales and some opportunities. If not, it's just going to be way too hot to be even doing anything really. So uh, I got a lot of stuff that is kind of piled up in the garage I'll be working on. A lot of stuff that I got to scan in. That I could just sit at my desk in the house in the AC and just scan stuff in like photographs. And I got magazines, stuff like up on eBay. Amazon, Etsy, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But uh, it's getting to that point in time in the year where it just the heat's too much, and there's not much action going on, believe it or not. Um, you know, especially in, in the area where I live here, uh, the garage sales will come to a halt, uh, and if there are some, they'll just be from like six to nine in the morning. Um, so, uh, welcome to the Arizona heat, that's for sure. I'm going, I'm going, eBay. I'm trying as fast as I can to get these packages out the door. Don't want it to affect my rating as an amazing seller. Well, there you go. Are you happy now, eBay? Picked up some laces the other day so I can 
get these shoes all laced up, cleaned up, and sold. Some of these will be eBay. Some of these will be local. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys here kind of what I'm dealing with. All right, so here's a pair of Doc Martens. They're pretty worn. We'll get some new laces on these, clean up the leather, clean off the soles. Let's see what we get for them. These are looking nice and spiffy. Turned out pretty good. They definitely got some wear still on them. But, uh, yeah, let's take a look at what these sell for on eBay. See so if we can make some money off them. If not, I'm going to just... I got a bunch of junk shoes that I mean to put on local scene and see if we can get some money out of those. If not, uh, probably just end up donating them at some point. Um, these are made in England, these Doc Martens, which is a which is a bonus. It's a good little keyword when you're putting in the title. Um, there are some desirable, but uh, the condition on these, one of them, it's got, let's see, it's this one. It's got like a burn mark right there, so we'll see. Off to the next pair of shoes. Added up mini skirt with my J's on. This shoe here, um, just cleaned it up, put some new laces in it. They're looking pretty good. This still got a winky dink with this one here. But uh, yeah, making progress with my J's on. Making some progress with the shoes here. I think I got a couple more in the garage that I gotta finish before I start photographing, figuring out where we're gonna sell these at. Some will be eBay. Uh, looks like some of them might just be local. But uh, just wanted to accomplish this today. Get all the shoes that I have in the garage that just need to be cleaned. Need new laces, etc., etc. We're almost there. All right, so we're looking up some of these shoes now at the moment. These are youth size Jordans. The way you could tell, I would say, is because it says US 6Y, which is youth. But what you could do is to identify these shoes. You see right underneath where it says UK 5.5, that five digit number, dash 003, the color scheme. You basically just search this on Google, which is pretty much like this. It comes up here and it tells you Nike Air Jordan Flight TR 97 shoes. And there's the picture of them right there. Unfortunately, with these shoes, and just from some of the experience I've had with uh, a lot of these uh, youth Jordan shoes, they, uh, they don't bring a lot of money. So uh, I'm going to try to go down the route of selling them locally here. Um, I looked them up on eBay. People are selling shoes for $15 shipped, and there's just really no money in that for me. I'd rather just try to sell them for $10 down the road and be done with the deal. But um, just wanted to show you guys a quick tip on how to identify really any Nike shoe. It's just that... A digit right there, there you can search that into Google you can also uh, look into Google images and it should pop up the shoe that you have there that way you know what the shoe name is and then you know the style or the color scheme got a question here from Ethan Hutt what's up man love the videos any advice on cleaning Disney snow globes or anything about them appreciate the comment Ethan uh, yeah uh, you can clean them with Windex uh, sometimes if they're kind of hazy or they've been around smoke you know, um, just basically just a plain old uh, magic eraser should clean it up. Or I've even used headlight restoration cleaner. I don't know if you've seen that for cars. That works out pretty well with like, if there's like a glaze on it. But uh, but typically I've had experience selling those. I've probably sold 20 to 30 of my lifetime. And um, of the 20 and 30 of them, at least nine of them, the buyer said they were broken. So um, I packaged them securely, a double boxed them, bubble wrapped them. Airmail cushions have done everything like that. So I really don't even pick them up anymore, honestly. Um, but they do sell. You can take a look at them. There's some very desirable ones that are out there. Just uh, I've just noticed from experience, it's just it's not worth the hassle. And even though there is money there, I just if I see them at a garage sale for a buck or two, I'm not really picking them up. If I had a good local market here um, in terms of uh, an area where I could flip them, I might buy it and just try to sell it locally. But uh, yeah, hopefully that answers your question, Ethan. So with the weather getting hot coming up very, very soon here, I'm going to start expanding my local game and working on listing up stuff. I have an accounts with OfferUp and LetGo and obviously Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist. Um, here's something I'm going to be trying new, guys. It's called 5 Miles, uh, just the number 5, then Miles, M-I-L-E-S. You can search it on the App Store. Just been browsing through here for the past 30 minutes and it looks really interesting. There's a lot of action on here, that's for sure, in this area. So I'm going to test it with a lot of the stuff that I have locally. And keep you guys posted if we make a sale or not. Um, if you're watching this video and you've used 5 Miles, let me know down below. Leave a comment what your thoughts are. For those that haven't been using it, maybe give it a try if you're doing the local game. I'm kind of excited. I like when new platforms come up. I don't think this is actually new, but it's new to me. So uh, I'm going to try it out. See if we can make some money locally. So thanks for watching today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, hit the like button. Leave a comment down below if you have any comments or questions or concerns. 
I'm going to keep staying busy, staying cool. The heat's coming. Go out there, be great, get some stuff listed, create some sales. Till next time I'm out of here, peace. Vlog over.